uh, of the ATV with respect to its uh, uh, safety to approach the, uh, the space station. And now we're ready to do the, the real thing. And um, maybe I could have the, uh, the next slide. So the, uh, the events of, the, uh, of Rendezvous Day are, are largely uh, uh, the same as for Demo Day 2. We start off again 39 kilometers uh, behind the station. And uh, actually, perhaps we could uh, put the, video, the first video clip on here. So what we, we, we carry on straight into the station, uh, stopping at uh, the various hold points on the way to, uh, to check that uh, um, everything is right with the, the ATV and, the, uh, um, and also with the, the, the station is ready to uh, receive the ATV. Um, these various hold points uh, are particularly important uh, because uh, they, it's required that we make a, a go, no go decision between the, the three flight directors uh, at uh, some of these points. And this re requires a, a fairly fast reaction. Um, the ATV then proceeds through the 250 meter point to the 20 meter point to the 10 meter point and then proceeds right into uh, to, to docking if everything is, is correct. Now, um, I mentioned that uh, the crew is, is monitoring this last part of the, uh, the operation. The crew is, uh, if you like, our last line of defense and uh, they, they have the ability to wave off uh, any rendezvous if things uh, look as though they're going wrong. Um, Perhaps I could have the, uh, the next slide. Now mounted on the, uh, uh, the front end cone of the uh, ATV, we have a, a target uh, which uh, is, uh, let's say, uh, w which the, the crew looks at through a, um, a video camera, a, a CCD camera mounted on the, uh, the, the top of the uh, Svesda um, aft end cone. And the crew uh, looks to see that the approach of the ATV is within a predefined corridor. If it starts going outside the corridor, they have the ability to either um, execute an escape maneuver or even the collision avoidance maneuver, de depending on where we are in the sequence. Um, the crew won't do anything at all, of course, if the whole thing is nominal and uh, they will just watch it, uh, watch it come, in, come in. So we get to a point about one meter away from the, um, uh, from the docking mechanism of the uh, uh, Svesta. And at that point, uh, the, the crew will, um, at one meter away, we have what we call the crew hands-off point. And that's when it becomes, let's say, more uh, dangerous to, uh, to, to uh, do an abort maneuver than to uh, let the, the ATV actually come in. So it's important that the crew knows where that point is and uh, using a video screen in the, uh, um, in the, in the Svesta, uh, which is known as the symbol, um, they overlay, uh, we call it, a, well, it's actually a piece of perspex, which is called a range finder, uh, range ruler, and there they measure the diameter of the, the target. And when it uh, is a, a certain number of millimeters, then we know that we've reached the, uh, the one meter point. And if it looks OK at that point, then the crew will let it come in. If, uh, if it doesn't, then they will push the, the cam button. There's a big red button in the, uh, in the service module, which, uh, which allows them to quickly uh, terminate a, a rendezvous if necessary. Okay, so now we are docked to the, uh, to the space station, and uh, this is when the ATV mission in support of the, uh, the ISS really starts. Um, as uh, John has mentioned, we, we are carrying uh, a large amount of, uh, of cargo, something like 1.2 tons of uh, dry cargo, and this uh, comprises uh, uh, a lot of supplies for the, uh, for the crew on board. Um, 
we also have uh, some spares. Actually, for Columbus, we're carrying up about 100 kilograms of uh, spare parts, which uh, are, are, let's say, the more critical ones, which could be used.